guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to another empties video. I think I did one of these last fall, so I thought I'd bring it back. Actually, it was a request from a viewer asking if I could bring this video back and share with you guys some of my empties and favorites recently. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. By the way, I'm not going to mention any products I've already talked about in last year's video because items like the Sicily Ecological Compound, the Benefit Roller Lash, the INH Hair Slick, and the Sisley restorative facial cream. I've gone through bottles of those again this year, but I've already talked about those last year and I still feel the same about those items. So I don't think it's necessary for me to bring them up again. But starting with face wash, these are two face wash that I want to mention today. One is really empty now and the other one is down to, I think maybe another week's life. The first one is the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser. I really, really like this one it's been a staple i think in my face wash for a couple of years now i would say i do switch out my face wash every once in a while just because i feel like my face sometimes gets used to face washes and then it won't like it anymore if that makes sense so every once in a while i try to cycle different products into my face wash routine and this is one of them it foams up really easily and really well so you get a lot of bubbles with this one you don't need a lot a little bean goes a long way with this and it doesn't strip my face of its moisture and it's oil free which I love because I don't really like oil based facial cleansers. Next one is less budget friendly compared to the pharmacy facial wash. This is something I picked up at the airport one time because I realized I have forgotten to bring face wash. This is the Clay de Peau Beauty Softening Cleansing Foam. This one's also just really soft and gentle on the skin and I love the smell of this one. Next we have a couple of sunscreens. It's blazing hot in Vancouver right now so sunscreens have been a staple and a must-have in my everyday routine three sunscreens here and if you've been following me for a while now these wouldn't come as surprises I've been using these super group sunscreens for many many years now I want to say maybe since the start of college years I think I love the super group mineral sheer screen I don't like the unseen one I think the unseen one clogs my pores so I don't like that one but the sheer screen is really really nice this is SPF 30 it doesn't make my makeup crusty and it sits really Really well under my makeup which is really important to me during summertime in addition to that I like to use the super goo play everyday lotion SPF 50 on my body throughout the summer I go to the beach with this I like to just put it on my shoulders if I'm commuting or walking for a long distance I like to use it on my chest on my neck back of my neck this is just great to protect my skin at all times if I'm outside in the blazing Sun last sunscreen I want to share is a fairly new addition to my sunscreen army this is the Beauty of Chosen Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics SPF 50 Plus PA with four plus signs sunscreen. This one is probably my favorite to wear under makeup. This comes first and then the super goop one comes second. Just because this one blends in so much more seamlessly, when you blend it into your face, it almost just melts into your skin. Skin. when you blend it out there's no like white layer whatsoever it's more like a gel and cream formula but this is definitely a lot more of a creamier formula sticking with the summer theme I want to talk very quickly about my favorite deodorant this is the Malin and Goetz or is it Malin and Goetz this this deodorant this is in the scent bergamot and it's the freshest most citrusy deodorant out there this is also clean i believe and definitely one of my favorite deodorants so far because it's clean and it actually works i've used another brand another clean beauty brand deodorant before and that still leaves me sweaty af this is I think my second one now and I will definitely repurchase. Let's quickly talk about one more skincare product before we jump into some makeup items. This is the Sawasu First Care Activating Serum. I think this is just a simple serum that helps the rest of your makeup absorb into your skin. Super lightweight, not sticky at all, which is something I look for in serums. I don't like sticky serums, they really bother me. This is a really old bottle now, I believe since this bottle they've already come out with one or two more editions makeup wise I only have three products I wanted to share today one is the glow skin beauty sea shield anti-pollution moisture tint when I say I love like freaking love this product I'm not even kidding you you can see like it's really been squeezed 
out. I love wearing this for no makeup makeup days. It is probably the most seamless mousse I've ever used and it blends into my skin tone so nicely. It really does look like my skin. Doesn't leave like a layer of anything. I know I'm really hyping up this product but that's just how I personally feel and I've tried a lot of skin tint and moisture tints out there, CC creams, BB creams and this one by far is the winner of them all. If you're someone who doesn't like wearing makeup and just want to even out your skin tone this will do the trick next i have a contour this is the westman atelier contour stick in the shade biscuit there's literally no more left that i can twist out and this is in the mini size i just felt like this color really worked with my skin tone this is definitely a lot warmer than a lot of people are comfortable with when it comes to contouring but i think for a contour slash bronzer two-in-one situation this one really did the trick for me and i really like the formula it was really easy to blend out i do think it fades on the face after a really long day but i think for just regular wear it you know is is great <laughs> last makeup product i wanted to share is the refi brow sculpt in the shade clear this is my third tube now probably is the best brow gel i've used for my really really thick brow hairs i've tried the anastasia brow freeze gel i've tried the rare beauty brow gel i've tried the Kosa's brow gel. None of those really kept my brow hairs in place for like a 12 hour day, but this one by Refi did. I can't say the formula is the best because yes, it does leave a white cast, but there are definitely ways around it and ways to minimize the white cast. Personally, I just think the design is amazing because you get the brow gel on one end and then you get a brush and spoolie on the other end, which makes it so easy to use on the go. Definitely recommend this if you are okay with spending extra time fixing the white cast okay now for setting makeup I just wanted to give these old classic babies a shout out because I can't even count how many bottles of this I've gone through this is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray they've been I think the gods of setting sprays for decades now and to this day I still enjoy them the most I've used up the big bottles I've used up the regular bottles I've used up the mini bottles it locks your makeup in place. I will never stop repurchasing these. Two more categories. One is face mask and then we have two hair products I want to mention before we wrap this video up. Face mask wise, uh, let's start with the more budget friendly option which is the Avene uh, Soothing Radiance Mask. I don't know if that's how you pronounce Avene or is it Avene? Anyway, this brand. This is a really quick and easy moisturizing mask. A really good brand for sensitive skin and I just like how it helps my skin stay radiant and moisturized and then the two other face masks I've gone through and is now empty are the Sisley Velvet Sleeping Mask with Saffron Flowers this gives you restorative comfort and then this is the facial mask with Linden Blossom for sensitive skin I think I've mentioned Sisley face mask in my previous empty video I can't remember which one of these it was but yeah I still stick by what I said in my previous video I think Sisley masks are great but is it worth the price point that's like a personal financial ability question and also whether your skin is really sensitive and actually needs Sisley face masks otherwise I think this one also does the same thing as these ones finally on to the last two items of this video two hair products from the same brand if you're not familiar with my hair condition I have really 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 frizzy and curly hair naturally we have really curly and frizzy hair genes running in both of my parents family so I inherited like an extreme version of that the reason why my hair looks soft and nicely styled right now is because I straighten my hair chemically and dye my hair almost every year for god knows how many years now but yeah I do a lot of treatments to my hair to ensure it looks like this um, but on top of that, I also use a lot of products to help with that. One being the Purology Hydrate Conditioner and I also use the shampoo. I just don't have the bottle with me right now because that's full so I feel like I'm cheating if I bring that out. But this is empty and I've also gone through a lot of empty bottles of the shampoo though. This has just been a game changer for my hair. My hair used to fall out like crazy. Like I could probably collect a ball after I wash my hair. That's how much hair loss I was experiencing because I was using the wrong products for my hair but this one has been super hydrating super good for my dry um, treated hair and colored hair 
And on top of this, I actually also use their dark blue bottle um, that's targeted for blonde hair. Really, really recommend. I've gone through many bottles of this and I also purchased like the one liter bottles. Last but not least, I want to talk about a heat protectant spray. This is also by Purology. And if you can't guess already, yes, I am obsessed with Purology products. Didn't know I would be because nobody's ever really put me on it. I kind of just went in Sephora one day, picked it up and I've just never stopped using Purology products since. But this is the Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray for color treated hair. Wait, is this not heat protectant? Holy sh! Oh no, it does say. It says mist on clean damp hair and comb through prior to styling. Okay, well, I don't know if it's actually a heat protectant spray, but it's what I've been using. Honestly, my hair used to be so, so, so dry. Hair loss was unimaginable. Purology line has really just transformed my kind of hair health and I really want to recommend this to anybody else who is experiencing extreme hair loss or if you just have similar hair conditions as I do. I think I will definitely be repurchasing the Purology stuff until my hair gets sick of it. But yeah, I think that's everything I want to share in today's empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's empties video and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!